day, family. Welcome back. Hope you're in high spirits today. Always remember these videos are for empowerment, encouragement, and entertainment. Oh yeah, come on down and hit that sub button one time. Tip us a like. We need more interactions. We need your assistance, guys. Make our day one time. So you guys ready for today? We strive to take things one day at a time around here on these farms. Wise man said if you strive for perfection, you can achieve excellence. So that's where we where, that's where we at with it. If you need a place to hang out and learn more about financial strategies, tactics, and some good old farming, this is your place. The Palace, Elm Creek Farms, me friend. I'm looking for other games to play. To give you guys some different entertainment to soak up. So let me know what you think, what you would like to see the channel game on. I like playing these kind of games. Helps us get our farming experiences out the way. Around here on Aaron Creek's farm, we've been trying to make some moves, you know, make big moves. You see we are trucking for that 10 million mark. I believe there's some achievements waiting. There's a few achievements. Seems like you just gotta play and you will be rewarded when you get one right. The achievements are a bit different from FS19. Hopefully we can we can get them like we did last, like the last couple farm sims. We were able to get the crystal ball trophy after completing submissions. It, it has to be a few, a few missions that you can get some achievements on, dealing with a lot of millions. As you can see, farmer manager here has completed one of the goals he has set, and that was to bake a delicious, lovely strawberry cake. The Elm Creek ladies is known for their finest strawberry cake for dessert around here, and it's about that time. So you're gonna go over here and grab the fork, Willie. Yes, charged up and ready to go. As you can see over there, we got some good old taste of olive oil. Yeah, they're producing. That's another stream of income from the farm. Kind of slow, but it all adds up. So our old farm is coming along, you know, we building as we grow. The lady's been around here putting in work, man. You can see we got a, got some things to do around here. So we got our first batch of cakes. Our gator kind of looking a bit, a bit dusty. We gotta make sure to get it clean. So when we head down here to Boardwalk Lane, we can make our impressions, you know what I'm saying? Like the animals, they got different different type of ways that they impress, they impress them ladies, you know what I'm saying? We finna pull up with some cake on our, cake on the plate. Spray the old gator off, get him spiffy. Yeah, this is a nice a little transport around a around a rental around farm. John Deere XUV A65 M. Say what's up to the pedestrians. And our ladies at the bakery done a mighty fine job. So now we're finna take it up here. We're focused on a few goals as we build a big farm. Unlocking achievements and completing goals and learning new things as, as our mission. Quest is on through the series. If, if you would like, you can check out our past videos from when we first started this series until now. There's a link in the playlist. There's a link to the playlist in the descriptions below. And we will try to continue to keep the vids coming as we progress. You know, if everything is okay, you know, it's will. Take things one day at a time. The playlist is the, it's called the Foreman Mogul Challenge. We got about 400 liters right here of cake. I don't, I'm not sure if it would, it would have continued to kept making cakes, but you know, this is our first batch, so we finna, finna go do something with it.
Drop them on in the back of the gator. Our cake looking ready in the back of the gator. It's March 21st in game. This is our second year in game. We've been doing okay with our businesses. As you can see, we have some pallets of cheese and butter and grape juice hanging around. We need to do something with it. Little OCD moves. <laughs> we should be ready to go. You can't be folded up real nice and easy so we don't. Yeah, we ain't gonna strap them in. Got some old strawberries over there. Go ahead and drop them onto the bakery so they can put it down. Get a nice view of our old nice, most finest Elm Creek strawberry dessert cake. Got to get that cake, cake, cake. So head over to Boardwalk Lane. What about our strips we trying to put together? Squeeze through these gates. See, we got people out today. So yeah, we need to finish. And it's doing some work around here to our to our parking lot. Check on, yeah, we got we got high prices around at the supermarket. About twelve thousand or something. Working on it, creating as we go. Do a bit of landscaping and building. Decorate a little bit. Lay some asphalt around in these parts. Trying to just get a little creative as we go. Make it look like something as we progress. So. I was reading so that said too much asphalt isn't good because the, because you know the dirt needs needs to soak up the excess water after it rains and with too much asphalt the water can't reach back to the soil so that's that's a lot of blood and a lot of different things that's that's why you see a lot of that stuff happening the natural states ain't really in the forms you know what I'm saying for future FYI all the farmers grounds keepers and people you know what I'm saying so you gotta pay close attention when you're trying to build up things because a lot of concrete you know it can help out with you know driving better smoother driving but at the same time it's a it's a con to it our groundwater ain't ain't uh, replenishing like it should be Get our construction skills going here. Not too much. So we need you guys to help around here. Come on, help us lay some of this concrete. <laughs> Like, nah, man, I'm gonna sit down here and watch you. And so we did, we did our, as much as we're gonna do for the, you know, around here right now. Now we're gonna get the smoothing out the terrain the best we can. We will add other features like trees, bushes, and flowers, etc. you know, to, to fill this thing on that as we go. So we got the S Mart, we got the restaurant, we got the pizzeria called the Pizza Rama. So this is just the making of our boardwalk strip right here, boardwalk lane. Some selling points they they favoring, you know, giving a high price on goods.
shape like it's still kind of raised up a little bit. It should take a little bit. See, can we sell our cakes real quick? Oh, I think it seems like it's dropping a little bit out of, out of whack right now. The, uh, the gator, I don't know what's going on with it. So it should sell when we pull up. I don't see no money turning though. Yeah, I don't think it's registering right now. They're paying $12,376 here at the supermarket. Pizza Real paying eleven thousand one hundred seventy. Let's go over here and see can will it sell over sell over here. Oh man, some control seem to ain't let me turn all the way in there. I'm not sure if this pallet is too heavy for the gator or it's just it ain't really meant to be in the back of the back of the, Yeah it ain't bit wacky right now. Yeah, it isn't registering to sell the cake from the gator. We just learned something new today. Gator seems to be acting a bit wacky right about now. <laughs> Come on, man. Something going on. Take a look at our little old marvelous money making strip we got going on right here. Yeah, it was good to show off the cakes a bit. Let them know we out here with the most <laughs> finest cakes around in Elm Creek. Gonna put them on display. It's all good because we problem solvers. Don't even trip. Hopped in old fork with her. Get ourselves situated. It's not a full 1,000 liters of cake, but We be so excited about our first first batch of cakes. And then we just gonna test and see how much we can get for this. Cakes looking mighty delicious. We need them up. Close to about 5D, 4,919. Just 400 liters, so. Now we're just gonna let them stack up and see what we can get from there. There is many jobs on the farm we need to do, do our farm chores for the day, move some pallets, check on our livestock, do some more work. We got some work to do at the other farm. We have a cotton farm down at the bottom of the map, down there in dairy country. Some cotton kings, man. But we ain't got no cattle right now. We just got piggies in our production chains. Some crop fields, trucking loads. That's how we've been making money. I got gator back over here. Starting to come along, looking pretty cool. I like it. 
trying to get the scene to look like a, you know, modern place. Not, not things not too out of whack, out too out of place. You know what I'm saying? As you would, you know, look like you driving down somebody's, you know, real live farm. Got our pigs running around. So this right here is another section of our Elm Creek farms running around. Got some sugar over here, four pallets of sugar. We just come, come, you know, do our rounds, make sure our pigs is okay. Make sure they got feed, make sure the water, you know what I'm saying? Make sure the manure heap ain't all the way, you know, too stacked up. But we ain't really got too many pigs and they ain't really just, you know, fully producing because they just some, some youngins waiting to grow old and start producing a lot more. So we got all three different kinds of breeds of pigs. We got us some chickens going. And then this pen right here is we gonna move some of our offspring over there and let them grow and multiply. That's how you build up a big old empire. We're gonna be starting with, you know, the youngest that we got, breed them up, move them around, switch them around till they get a little bit older. Then, you know what I'm saying, take them to the cell and see how much we can fetch. Slap the gator right there. Let's go hop into John Deere 7R350. And, and this part right here, we just kept that grass because so, we're going to put some asphalt down there. That's the part of the strip we're going to turn into. You know what I'm saying? Then the rest, we just going to, you know, sow our crop. Make sure all our equipment is rinsed and sprayed off. You know what I'm saying? After working in the field. So we need a... Need a... Little sprayer down here. I, I need to make sure that I don't forget to get that the weather forecast gauger. I think you can, it helps you better gauge the, the weather. You always got to know when to, you know, at least try to know. Because around here, you know, this weather, <laughs> you don't know what it's going to do. Green and yellow, green and yellow. Make sure we get it all clean and ready. Show which them lights can fold in and out. And I'm glad we got a lot of slots because it seems like we've been putting a lot of buildings down and. We got plans for a lot more, so I hope that everything runs and goes smoothly. The old sugar mill. Sugar mill been turning out sugar. It's been... It's been Doing, doing his job, keeping our dairy right there full with, so we can get some chocolate bars producing. So we finna head down to our down to our other hub. We got established part of an expansion project. But a big tip for you guys, make sure you don't expand too fast. And the reason that we came up with a plan to expand, we do a lot of business down on this end, so we decided to plant some cotton and some sugar bees down here. For our production chain and for our livestock. And they got a lot more lot of more good square fields as we pass through. So this is a lot, you know, we can expand, we can buy more fields. It's achievement, I believe, to own all the fields, that's an achievement. So that's another goal we're striving to get. Up in the green lizard. 
to do some crop research down here on these fields. Okay, we have here, we have some cotton. And we drilled it into the a field that was harvested. So we got a mat down here on this, on this cotton right here. Over here we got some sugar beets. Just freshly been planted. So we're gonna try to figure it. It might take us a year or two, but we're gonna take the numbers after we harvest that field right there. Field 58, and then right here in field 60. We have we got a field that's been cultivated, and then we seeded it with cotton. So, so this one right here, I believe it's like a no-till with a mat on top. And that in this field right here is just it ain't got it ain't got no cover crop to see like. So we gonna we gonna we gonna record our numbers. And then next year we gonna these fields we gonna cultivate and drill in so it looks similar to like that field. And then see, you know, see what the difference would be. I wonder which which would be better for, for the cotton crop. And all these fields down here in this area, except for field 59, is we see that we cotton. Field 59 got sugar beets. We grow in that for our sugar mill and, and feed our pigs. It has some excess to feed our pigs, so we ain't got to, we really can't even buy that anyway, so. So as we just cruise down through our little sections of fields, here our pipes holler. Here's Poppy Clutch in a 1986 Green Boy truck. Slick inside, swinging on them things, you know what I'm saying? Again, we bought this little section down here, so we're just trying to bob the area. And down here, we got some space to place buildings and some things, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple of fields of cotton here. I believe this section is set up for a dairy hub. Cows probably, probably set your cows somewhere up in these fields, put some production chains or something down there in that area. The fields can be small fields, you know what I'm saying? These fields are, the, the fields are small. You know, basically, you know, you can plant you some resources for your products down there in that open area. If you just, you know, we just kind of bought it as a hub. We put us a vehicle, we gonna, we're looking to put a vehicle workshop or some type of building down there. So it's looking pretty good up in this area. You kind of see over, see out over the landscape. We got a lot of fields. So I, I hope you guys are liking the, the content, you know, check out our past videos and the other series, kind of put it together if you would like. Slab our lizard up right here. Got the stone picker over there, I was testing it. One of our fields has stones, you know, we had to get the stones out around here. Check out some things, should do a little land measure. We need to buy some things with these millions piling up. Got the big garage with the vehicle. Got garage for the contractors. And this one pay an hourly fee, 60 an hour. It's right around 455000 Buildings are pretty expensive. Even though they got a small, you can start off with a small one, but I think we can spare it. Yeah, I'm mm, kind of not really looking for it. 
So you're gonna hop in this JD and move this limer out the way. Cruising down the lane in our seven series. Say we ain't in the lane, we on the back, we in the back skirts around these fields, man. We on the field. Really looking for a machine building with a vehicle workshop. I think that's where we're going. Kind of off. Perception bit off. See, I'm looking forward to getting that big, gigantic field right over there. And I believe it needs some limes, so we, we just gonna sit this right here because he's gonna have some work to do after a while. Okay, so. Big garage vehicle with the workshop inside of it. We ain't gonna get to make no money from it hourly, but I believe we will get a discount. No, we uh, it should be free. We shouldn't have to pay, since we had to pay all this money for this construction, three hundred seventy-four thousand seven hundred forty-five bucks. But wow, look at the, look at the insides, fam. Doors, windows, got the light shining through. We get to walk around. It looks very spacious. Right here is where we tune our vehicles up. So in this area, we ain't got to travel all the way back to the store. Cause we gonna be running them. Pop on the lights. Yeah, we got another entryway. We might have to do a little bit minor log and get that tree out the way right there. Just do some work as we go. These doors and look like it got some armor on it a little bit. Got the nice wood going, wood grain in there. As we wrap this video up, hope you enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, turn your note notifications on so you can be notified when the next video comes out. Be looking for the next video on the Farming Mobile Challenge. Shoot us a like and share the page. Would be a good good thing of you. Thanks for tuning in. Put our tractor off in here. About that time, lunch time. I think we finna head out, grab some lunch. We may see you guys again today. Help us do some chores around on the main farm. Tune our, tune our old JD up, get him healthy. So yeah, I think we got a discount on our on our price. It said it was like four, 45 something, but we paid right around 37, close to 30, 38. A little quick loop. Make sure you all right. So that's just some of the things that you know that it that you know and farmers do around, you know what I'm saying, when it's kinda downtown, make sure all your equipment and everything is, you know, tuned up, working. A lot of space around so you so you can put a lot of equipment around here. So this is a nice, nice building. Now the new feature seemed like added to the added to FS22. So thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.